Hello everybody, welcome to AeroBB week 11. We have Danton who is guaranteed top three. Um, if he wins this game, he can be number one if Elliot loses. So there is there is a chance of seeding for Elliot, uh, for Danton, sorry, but he's mostly just gonna be playing to keep his players alive. Uh, Sick as Eggs, on the other hand, is on 12 points. So he's in a bit of danger, but um, if he wins, We've already seen Tapioca King lose, so if he, uh, if Sick wins here, he's on a very strong 15 points. It's possible for lots of players to get to 15 points, so it's it's still very much uh, he very much wants to win Sick. There's a chance that if he draws, it's good enough, but for that, Chavite would have to lose as well, so. He's almost certainly got to win. Almost certainly got to win and hope other results go his way. So yeah, pretty pretty high pressure for Sick and absolutely zero pressure for Danton. There you go. Oh, of course, 14 players. I only thought of 11, so that's why I stopped at seven. But yes, of course, you could have 14 players. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the rumour true that G-Dubs might bring out 2024 is of course true because <laughs> GW can do anything. <laughs> um, it's true that it's a rumour. Do I know that whether it's true or not? I have got no idea, d -Store. It makes sense to me. You know, I've heard rumblings, it does make sense, so... And I think it will be Bretonians and Kemri, but, you know, it's absolutely not confirmed in any way. Juggernaut here, but it still keeps him in contact, unfortunately. But at least he frees up himself, this amazing god-tier player. Jump up, tackle, pump, jugs, amazing. Kill my witch elf. Scumbag blitzer. So nice, nice little Kaz. Not, not an amazing one, but you know, a player off the pitch is never bad, is it? I don't think it can be. I don't think it can be much worse than Blood Bowl twenty twenty. <laughs> oh, it's not possible to get six from Boruski. Oh man, because they don't even have passing as as a as a secondary. <laughs> So we've got the old blitz into the fleshy here, but it's only a one. Uh, it gets the removal. God. Oh god, outrageous. Outrageous. The seven was the max there. Um, do you know what, Joe Leave? You're gonna hate me for this, but it is possible because you've got the mercs from uh, the mercs from Dungeon uh, Death Zone, right? You could you could get you could get some of those mercs. And then they could have it. <laughs> so pushes the fleshy away. Not terrible. A vamp can never can never stall. No. No a vamp always has to roll dice, so it doesn't stall. Same with like a big guy or whatever, like you know an ogre with a ball. He's never gonna get a rock thrown at him. It doesn't go one wider. I think I would go one wide out of like just habit and like you know muscle memory if you like. Uh, with these wolves around, I think one wider might have been better as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. I mean, he, it's not ridiculous to get two dice on the ball. That's how, how insane it is having these two wolves. I don't think he's going to go for it. But I do think one one wider would have been safer, and I would have put one wider just out of like habit, basically. <laughs> the second best use of fumble risky, yeah, yeah. Wow, really, that Asian guy? That is crazy. So everyone else can only have four block, and dwarves get infinite? 
You can't take block on your black orcs because you already... Uh, sorry, on your big ones because you've already got block on your blitzers. Or you can take four blocks so everyone can have eight block. This is already insanity. This is already insanity. On... Well, there's no conventional thing about it. You're talking about NAF formats. That's nothing like progression formats. There's nothing conventional about progression being limited in any way. Okay. Starting skills aren't included. So, that really, that's really terrible for Zons, right? Limited to four block. Limits a lot of teams to six block. <laughs> yeah, a whole dedicated rulebook, Sol, yeah. If you count, like, a little booklet with about five pages. Um, right, so there you go. There's a cheeky Kaz. A dead, dead lineman. Yeah, wrestle, yeah. Yeah, four block. So if you get four block and four wrestle, it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Zon's OP and dwarves get fucked. So pretty good, pretty good rule set for Zons actually. <laughs> Dorse with four guard is pathetic. Mm. Yeah, if real, I mean, you know, who knows what's real or not. There's a lot of there's a lot of rumours in Blood Bowl, isn't there? And there's a lot of uh, only folklore. <laughs> There's a lot of rumours around the Blood Bowl scene, and uh, they're generally true. To be fair, they're generally they're generally true, but also, you know, who knows? Oh yeah, because you've got to have Wrestlesaurus. <laughs> you've got to have two Wrestlesaurus. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh man. That would be so terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah, six six is reasonable. Six you might as well not have a uh, not have a limit, I guess. I guess it limits dwarves and orcs to six guard. That's about all it does, isn't it? And it's pretty terrible, Tag. It's pretty fucking terrible, a WrestleSaurus. Like, you know, it's not as bad as, you know, a diving catch skink or whatever, but it's pretty fucking terrible. If you're limited like that, if it's like if it's uh, if it's like for tabletop, then you'd go four block, uh, one wrestle, <laughs> and like one guard, guard on the cross right. So his troll stunned. He's gonna foul with dirty player, isn't he? But he's giving a big old chunk of sideline here. I feel like the wolf should have been as well, right? The wolf, it, it protects the wolf. Because he's stunned anyway, even if you fail. And this is a pretty good square for the wolf, I think. Like, I think that's... Oh, he's got... He had a bribe. Danton had a bribe. I really like putting the wolf in here first. So now he gets to move into a slightly better square. <laughs> One back. So yeah, I think the wolf there was definitely better, because he's only one back. In fact, that's probably a better square anyway. <laughs> so yeah, could have had an extra... Uh... Oh god, yeah, elves are just shafted, aren't they? I guess dark elves. Dark elves get even better, and wood elves. Dark elves and wood elves absolutely shit on the other elves if you have four limits. No, because you get four dodge... Blitzers and two witch elves, right? So you still get six dodge elves. That's the thing, Chavita. You'd still get six dodge elves. Now they're not that fucked. They've got a lot of. They've got a lot of sideline. They've got a lot of sideline. They can just score early, right? And then hope they defend. Like it's a big commitment. It was a big commitment here, he, and he, he can try and slam in, but it's. Uh, He's, you know, he's, he's got two super movement players, but the rest... He probably should have hit this with a line all right. 
I think the zombie should have probably tried to hit that. And then if he pushes him, this one can hit. And then that leaves this guy free to come further than either other one. Four block, one wrestle, one tackle. Nah, guard, guard over tackle. Ah, I guess there's all the there's all the underworld. On that point, why not just play underworld? All right, if you're gonna if you're gonna gimp, what if you're gonna if you're that gimp, you should just be playing underworld. Like honestly, though, those rules, those rules for tabletop just means well for NAF style, it just means underworld. <laughs> just means underworld gonna under. Wait, there's no dwarves anymore. <laughs> Other teams are crap. Hmm. <laughs> let's let's just do underworld. What do you mean I can't give Juggernaut f four times? <laughs> oh, this is terrible for underworld. So yeah, this is the thing. Like he didn't he didn't want to risk his wolves. Right, this is the thing. Because Danton's already qualified, he wasn't going to waste, like, he wasn't going to put his wolves out. So, this sideline push gets a lot stronger for sick. Yeah. So, I think if Danton was, like, you know, trying harder to win, I think you make the block with a zombie there. And then get this guy an extra square f further across and put out both wolves. And then, like, if you hold hold the sideline with a with a blood step wolf, but you're not going to hold the sideline with a blood step wolf versus this fucking motherfucker, are you? In a pointless game. So, uh, Danton here is yeah the fact that he's big. A big factor here for Danton is the fact that he's already qualified. So yeah, that's why he's just blitzing the relevant guy. Don't get don't get your best player pommed by this guy. I wish I'd taken that advice. I wish I'd seen this match before I played sick. Knobs, think of knobs. I don't want to think about knobs to be honest, Timmy. They're rubbish. They're the worst team in Blood Bowl, dude. Worse than goblins. These goblins are fun. At least ogres are fun. At least halflings are fun. Imp knobs. The, do you know what the only thing that's good about imp knobs is if they're green, black, and yellow, and that's only because of their kit and them being champs. That's it. Yeah, foul with the H four wolf. Yeah, I wish I'd. I wish I'd just ran away like this. Fuck's sake. I mean, I'm not. I'm not thinking about it all the time, you know. <laughs> okay, maybe I am. Well, they are, they are, Spence. I was happy about not caring about my... Uh, I was happy about only caring about player preservation for 30 games. And then, in the 31st game, I still should have just been caring about player preservation. Um, but I didn't. And I got my favourite player killed, and therefore, I'm not going to win the league. <laughs> so, you know. I mean, maybe you're saying that leagues are shit, in which case, I agree. But it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Now <laughs> re-rolls it. Yeah, he's got to get away. Got to get away from the pommer. He should just cage this guy. Just fully cage this. Put the zombie here. Put the wolf here, and put the white up there. Well, the problem is, Baron Bucky. If you play them, the optimal way to play them, they're pretty fucking stupid. That's the problem, isn't it? 
And for people like me and Dio, that's the only way we want to play them. <laughs> and it's hard. It's really hard to uh, to do that. Like, I want to win. I want to win. And it's really hard to shut that off and think, oh, I've just got to protect my players. And, you know, do a million vanity passes and stuff. It's hard to not care about the results. Like, the games that I lost, I was so sad that I lost. I lost, like, about three games in this, in the 30. I think I lost three out of 30. And I was so sad that when I lost them. Or maybe I didn't lose three. Some I lost on purpose. And I still wasn't even happy then. Like, some that, you know, like, I'd already qualified. And so the one I, one I lost on purpose. One I deliberately threw. One I got diced. And then two I didn't care about because it was the end of the season. And literally, the, the, the one that I got diced in, I was sad about. The two that I didn't care about, I still cared about. And then the one that I threw on purpose, I was that sad that I threw it on purpose. I made sure to win the rematch. <laughs> I went hyper-competitive in the rematch to make sure I won. Bladder losses don't matter at all, right? In Blood Bowl 3 now, ladder losses are just nothing. Ladder losses are LOS went bad, I'll just concede. And then, uh, but Blood Bowl 2, when there was, um, when you know, you when your record mattered, then losses were, were pretty annoying then as well, weren't they? But again, I'm just not caring about ladder at all anyway, right? Like... That is just weird. That is even even when there was five grand on the line, it was still like because it's the overall thing and not like because you're gonna get there eventually, you don't really have the investment in the individual games, do you? That's the thing. Like I would have cared, you know, if I was up the top, right? You know, like if the top three or four people playing, they're going to care about the losses, right? For sure. Yes, Paravale, yep. I don't think it's that bad. Like, thinking about it, it just wrecks dwarves. That's all, isn't it? It just absolutely destroys dwarves. And that's probably a good thing. Yeah, I've never been I've never been this unhappy about winning a tournament before, so I'll put it that way. Yeah, elves non the bad elves, yeah, the bad elves it's terrible for. Wait, this isn't a chain. <laughs> Oopsie. Eighty five per cent effort. I got thirty. I got thirty per of it. I got thirty. <laughs> they, that was, the ten was for, for winning it compared to being second, right? And like top two got the got the slots in the play-ins. The problem is the play-ins is, shall we say, inappropriate for Blood Bowl. <laughs> Very inappropriate for Blood Bowl. A very inappropriate Blood Bowl format. And in general, a crazy idea. There's 48 hour rounds at Christmas with multiple time zones. I think they'll be lucky if half the game gets half the games get played. Joey 
Ryan! <laughs> and people are going to go insane about not getting the vault to their ways, right? I don't think there's anything like saying you should try and be available in these hours or whatever. And like, so let's say Peraville's playing Big Chi-Chi. And Peraville says, well, I can play in these eight hours. Uh, you know, let's say eight till midnight, both days. And then Big Chi-Chi says, oh, that's unfortunate. I can play between one and six these two days. So now, what, Big Chi-Chi just gets the win? Because he's given ten hours of availability and Peraville's only given eight? Like what? <laughs> so, or does then Peraville encounter and say, well, actually, I can play from 6 p.m. till midnight. So, and now he's got 12 hours availability. So now does he get the win? Even though he's made no effort to play the game, but he's, he's technically now given more time, right? So now Big Chi Chi counters and says, well, actually, I can play 1 till 10. And now he's got 18 hours of availability. So now doesn't he get the win? Like, it's insane. It's completely fucking insane. Like, I just don't see how it's gonna work at all. <laughs> and like, this is like, you don't even have to like, you know, you don't even have to be like that. It just, it's just gonna be hard people matching up anyway, isn't it? Like, you don't even have to be like, kind of stupid like that, people trying to game it. It's just gonna be hard anyway, because people, you know, it's Christmas and people are humans. So it's going to be fucking crazy. Tournament payout in Warpstone, that would be something, but it's it's not, it is in dollars. And it's actually good that it's in dollars and not in like a PC, isn't it? Like, Guinness got a PC, didn't he? And, uh, and like, while that's cool, it's much better just getting three grand and then if you want to buy a PC, buy a PC. Oh, a juggernaut. Glorious. Not quite as good as Rick's Juggernaut Blitzer, but his Juggernaut has done some things. Yeah, so he, see, even there, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to put him out too far. But like, that's also playing the game. It's not just because he's uh, he wants to protect him, but you know, he could have put him out here. But then he he might get picked off, might he? I guess he wouldn't actually. So maybe maybe he could have put him out. Good night, Sol. Cheers. Who's blitzing who? I'm not a fan of this. I've got to tell you, I'm not a fan of that. It, what does he do if he pows? Or this? Okay. Like, if he pows, he just gets nailed by the tackle pommer. But instead, he gets a removal. And comes back to safety. Like, if that initial hit had been a pow, he's just trapped. Like, if it's a pow and no removal, that was pretty wild. I would have just picked this guy off. Less likely to pow him, but at least you're less exposed. You can do dodge away. This, you're trapped. If you pow him here, you're just trapped, and, and this guy's pumming you. Very, very scary there from Danton. Very scary. You know, I'm not cut out to be a Necro player, are you? <laughs> I don't like these kinds of blitzers. Hate blitzing a wrestler here. Gets away with one in nine. But always hate blitzing a wrestler. So, you know, like, good to give the wrestlers the best target. But boy, howdy, do I hate wrestling, blitzing a wrestler. Yeah, I think you do that hit first, right? Do that hit first. And if you pow... You can put that guy there. Oh, you don't even need that guy. If you power this guy, you can blitz with your pommer. Juggernaut. Stick him onto the troll. I really hate blitzing the rest of them. So Danton, uh, Not going there. Yeah, me too, for real. Yeah, I'm, I'm like... I really hate this. what seems to be the standard Necro play of... Ah, I just dodge if you don't, pal. Let's 
So he's going to go for the uh, fleshy blitz and can push him away. It is pretty nice, isn't it, being able to do this, to be fair. With his, uh, using his pommer more as just a juggernaut blitzer. I guess what he could have done was he could have done that hit and then surfed this guy as well if he had people free, couldn't he? He could have deliberately tried to uh, get a surf in there, but I don't know if he had anybody free to have done it. Probably not. And now finally the DP foul. Nope. Probably should have moved him <laughs> six actions ago then, sick. <laughs> no, I guess maybe if he was going to power him, then he would have fouled. Yeah, if he powers him, he fouls with plus three assists. So yeah, maybe. Not. Yeah, the, the fleshes are doing some work. Problem is, if they go down, it's it's real bad, isn't it? Oh, wow, he just won in nine. Didn't we roll? Didn't we roll? Now, oh, do you know what's a good play here? Let's see if he does it. The play I like is blitzing this fleshy and chaining the troll into here. And then the troll punches. And then that's pretty good, isn't it? Yep. I like that. Yeah, you you got to hold the sideline with the stand firm guy, I think. Even though he's strength four and uh, very nice play. Doesn't go for the chain. I really quite like that chain because obviously he's got juggernaut. So get him in there, block him, and then support him with more guards. And then it's pretty pretty scary for the uh, for the necro there. They're being good punching bags, but the problem is he can't use them like to to rotate around with because the they are dominated right by the two black orcs and the uh, troll. So yeah, he's got to put in two more players to allow them to do anything. Oh, he's gonna blitz. Gets the pow. Move over here. I think you might need this dodge, eh? Whoa, what? What? Why isn't he here? <sighs> Wait, what? I'm bamboozled. I'm bamboozled. Why isn't there anybody here? One, two, three, four, five, GFI. <laughs> like, this is instant dice on the ball. He doesn't even need the assist. It's just instant dice on the ball. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good? He doesn't go for it! Flip me. Okay, he's going to do it with tackle. He's going to do it with tackle. Yeah, okay. But I think you make that block first. He's not doing it with tackle! One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, two. I, I don't like this. I guess if you go for it, you get space cadetted maybe, right, if you go for it. But this guy could tag one, two, three, four, five, GFI. He could tag one of the wolves. I guess the danger is if you go for that, then he just runs away, he gets the ball and runs away. So Sick wants to play it safe. He is one nil up. So just play it safe and uh you know make sure you've got your tackler back as a safety. But the problem then is they can still just burst forward and sideline cage, can't they? So it's not like, this isn't super safe at all. Like we could easy see, see an edge four sideline cage. Oh, he's gone. Wonder if you can surf the, the black orc there. It's 
quite a lot of GFIs, isn't it? If what he probably should have done was just gone more central, right, and actually screened it. I don't know why he did that. But if you go more central and actually screen it, then this big move over this side could have exposed him to getting served. Removed him anyway, so kind of like a surf. It's kind of a surf, isn't it? And uphills him. Not so good in Blood Bowl 2 because he does get to use Mighty Blow, and the Mighty Blow gets the AV break and the Kaz. <laughs> he does regen though, but uh, yep, that's the thing. In Blood Bowl, two, Blood Bowl 3, he doesn't get the Mighty Blow. Big difference. It's just really good to uphill, uh, uphill big guys in Blood Bowl 3. But not so much in Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> tackle. I didn't like not centralizing the tackle as well last turn from Sick. Like, if you're playing safe the way he kind of did, then you kind of want the tackle central, right? It's the same, he's got Juggernaut. Now he can central. Yeah, I guess that's okay because then if he blitzes this guy, you've got a screen behind. Well, I'm not sure about this move though. I quite like just leaving him out, tagging the thing. We've got a switch on here, haven't we? A switch on for the uh, necro. I guess it is turn 15. Okay, it is turn 15, so the, the switch isn't so good. He hasn't moved this guy out of the way. It's pretty shit. Honestly. Look at that, he's had to walk around him. He had to stand that guy up and like move him in on GFI and whatever he's going to do. Because he's, he's stopped himself a square of movement on his own wolf there. I don't know where he's going to go, just whack him in. Oh, there, he moved him there. So there you go. That should have moved first and he could have been another square forward. Which would have been on the sideline and not blitzable. <laughs> but yeah, big commitment from Sick, wasn't it? Big commitment from Sick. Uh, kind of an overcommit. I kind of hated moving that, moving that line all over. This is looking like a 3 2 2 for Danton here, unless. Like, what, he double GFIs and puts him in the way? Maybe that's okay. Or do, oh, he can put him behind, he can put him behind. I don't know why I thought he had to go in front. Yeah, he can go behind. Big GFI. But still, it's just a 2D and then a 3 plus. A 2D, then a 3 plus. 2 2Ds, then a 3 plus. Very easy score. Well, 2. What are you doing? You didn't need the assist! Did he? <laughs> he's strength three and he's strength four. They've both got an assist. That was awful from Danto. Awful. He cancels this. He goes there. Okay, this is a bit greedy. Of course, he's a... <laughs> he's, a he's a necro player. But it's, it's good, though. It's good, isn't it? It's good if you get it. It's good if you get it, to be fair. And then he That dodge was... The, the white dodge was terrible. Though. 
That was that was just completely unnecessary. The the greedy blitz was actually pretty good, right? It's actually pretty good because then you're taking him out so that when you push to there, you've still got the uh, no dodges to make. So the greedy blitz was good. But the white dodge was terrible. I mean, just a mistake, obviously, like, you know, everyone makes mistakes. But it was terrible, <laughs> to quote Artemis. So there you go, you know, on another day that could have easily been 1-1. One, one. But Danton loses, thus confirming him in third place. And uh, Sick as Eggs gets the win, which is looking pretty strong for qualification on 15 points. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.